Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this session, I will be explaining classification of control system. There are two types. First one is open loop control system. Open loop. Open loop control system. And closed loop control system. Closed loop control systems. Closed loop control system is also known as Feedback control system. Feedback control systems. First, let us define what is open loop control system. Control action is independent of output. Control action. Control action is independent. Control action is independent of output or I can define in another manner a system a system a system in which output is output is dependent or depend output is depend or dependent on input but controlling action but controlling action is independent controlling action is independent of the output of the output or changes in output or changes in output. I need to underline most important point. A system in which output is dependent on the input. That is true. But controlling action. Controlling action is totally independent of output or changes in the output. That you are supposed to underline. Alright. Let us consider one block diagram. With the help of block diagram, I can easily explain what do we mean by open loop control system. We have planned or process. We have planned or process. We are having planned. Definitely we are having planned or process. I will be writing process. Anything is okay. Output will be Controlled variable. Definitely what is output? Output will be controlled variable. I will be writing CV. Controlled variable. Okay. Then we have controller. There is one controller. I will be drawing one more block diagram of the controller. Controller. We have controller. So what is the input of controller? It will be command or input. I will be writing command or input signal or reference signal. I will be writing command signal. Let it be command signal. Command signal or reference or set point reference. Then what is the output of controller? It will be manipulated variable. I will be writing. I already explained this. Please watch my previous video for getting more information. Uh, this will be manipulated variable. So I will be writing in this manner. Then there will be a disturbance obviously. There will be a disturbance. That also I explain individually. What is disturbance? What is plant? Controller? Manipulated variable, controlled variable, reference signal, etc. Disturbance. This will be disturbance. So this is a typical uh, control system, open loop control system. Okay. That means here command signal is effectively utilized by the controller. Command signal. You can see the command signal that is effectively utilized by the controller. That is true. That is true fact. Similarly, control action. You can see the control action. The control the controller acts upon the command signal. This controller that will be acting on the command signal and generated the manipulated variable. This uh, command signal. You can see I will be writing in another input so that we will be getting more understanding. So okay, we can see command signal. See the command signal. This command signal. The command signal is effectively utilized by the controller. That is true. Moreover, control action is depending on or control controller acts the command signal to generate the manipulated signal. Because of this controller, 
what is the input of the controller command signal so manipulated manipulated variable will be generated with the help of controller that is true the function of what is the function of manip, manipulated variable the function of manipulated variable is force the controlled variable to follow the command signal the function the duty the duty of manipulated variable the function of manipulated variable is to force the controlled variable is force the controlled variable this will manipulated variable will force the controlled variable manipulated variable that will be forcing the controlled variable to follow the command signal you uh, redefine once again manipulated variable this manipulated variable force the command variable or cv manipulated variable will be forcing the command variable to follow the input or to follow the comment or to follow the reference that's a strategy i'll be writing that one the function of manipulated variable is to force the command variable is to force the command variable or you can write cv is to force the command variable to follow the to follow the command signal to follow the command signal you can verify with the help of diagram the manip fu function of manipulated variable to force the controlled variable to follow the command signal or reference signal then controller will be designed based on nature or experience of the plant controller this controller you can see the controller this controller that is designed based on the plant or nature based on the previous experience or based on the nature uh, this controller will be designed one more important point loop has not been closed obviously it will be an open loop the loop has not been closed the loop has not been closed that means it's an open loop control system information on control variable is not available that's also another fact information on the control variable information on the controlled variable is unknown this is actually controlled variable so here there is no information about controlled variable all right uh, total information regarding controlled variable is unknown at the input side or command signal that is another peculiarity of this uh, open loop control system what are the examples of open loop control system examples some examples i will be showing you the first one is electric switch electric switch consider an electric switch any changes in the light has not effect on the on or off position of the switch and its controlling action that is true we will be turning on and turning off the light whether light will be on or off we do, we do not know whether the bulb is having in a healthier condition or not that we do not know what we will do we will be turning on the switch and we are going to turn off the switch so what we can do the controlling action on and off control that is entirely entirely uh, independent of the light whether uh, bulb is healthier or not we do not know we will be turning on if the bulb is healthier what will happen uh, the, uh, the bulb is actually getting brightened up all right that is one example second example is your automatic washing machine automatic washing machine so you will be having one timer for example 30 minutes you will be performing one quick wash for 30 minutes and you are putting your clothes and you are turning on the washing machine after 30 minutes sometimes cloth will clean very clearly or sometimes it will not be washed properly because because of lot of dirt it will, it will not wash properly but washing process will be completed i don't know whether what, what type of washing output you will be getting either it is cleaned or if it is having some dirty that doesn't matter because washing will be completed based on your command washing will be completed means machines runs according to the preset time irrespective of washing is completed or not machine runs according to the preset time irrespective of washing is completed or not that's a true fact similarly fan with the regulator 
that is also one of the open loop control system fan with the regulator fan with the regulator that is another open loop control system which i already explained then stepper motor positioning system stepper motor positioning system stepper motor stepper motor positioning system everything we will be setting and according to that it will be operating similarly automatic toaster system room heater room heater then electric lift electric lift then room heater room heater then theater lamp these are the popular examples of open loop control system traffic light controller that means traffic light is the process or plant traffic light traffic light that it be process or plant now what is the controller there is a relay based controller will be there relays to control the sequence relay control relay control that means uh, light will be controlled by the relay actions relay controlling so what might be the input input will be time desired time is the input desired time will be the reference input then in order to operate the relay we require power supply we need power supply this will be the actual traffic control actual traffic control that means 30 seconds maybe for example this air time is 30 seconds it will operate the traffic control action will be taken place after 30 seconds depends on the desired time the traffic action will be depending on that means the sequence and duration are controlled by relays which are predetermined and not dependent on the rush on the road or not if the road is rush or not that doesn't matter it will be operating based on the time it will be operating this control action controlling uh, the controller will be operating based on the desired time uh, it, it it doesn't sense whether uh, traffic will be there or not whether the traffic will be there or not that doesn't matter that's the exact meaning of open loop control system uh, this controller that will not sense output that will not be sensing the uh, output why because there is no feedback that means uh, whether the road is uh, traffic hessel road or not uh, that does that that is not checking with the help of control okay automatic toaster system now let us draw the process heating process of the bread or heating process of the food item heating process of bread or food item that is a process then we have regulator or a controller we are having the controller here relay or relay controller relay or controller all right then desired time will be there to toss the bread desired time Desired time will be the then this will be the actual toast actual bread toast actual toast power supply should be required for the controller to operate power supply here same condition the machine runs as per adjusted time irrespective of toasting is completed or not machine is operating it is uh, the controller will be operated don't know whether bread is completely toasted or not 
okay whether the heating has been completed heating has, heating will be completed with the help of desired time but don't know uh, the bread will be toasted completely or not that's a peculiarity why because there is no feedback uh, we cannot sense the uh, condition output we cannot sense the output that's a peculiarity of the system okay this is another one of the best example of open loop control system there are different examples okay day to day life lot of examples apart from engineering application there are lot of day to day applications are available this is about open loop examples of open loop controllers